Hi everybody, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to everyone who's subscribing. This is our full moon in Gemini reading that we're doing, and that's happening November 23rd, 2018, and it's at zero degrees. When you have 29 degree and zero degrees, those are considered very uh, critical degrees, like an impetus for change, something major that you need to work through. Now, Gemini is the ruler of the third house, um, excuse me, that's their house and Mercury rules Gemini. So we're looking at the mental realm. It's an air sign. It talks of communication, whether you're speaking, you're writing, uh, it could be how you assimilate your information. So it's your social situation, your networking. It's also cousins, aunts and uncles, your neighbors or your neighborhood proximity and any local travel that you're doing, commerce, you see, anything like that. So looking at that energy, depending on where Gemini is in your chart, that energy will be expressed through that house for you, whether it's first house, ninth house, fourth house, it doesn't matter. But the energies of Gemini will be expressed through that house for you in your chart. So when we're looking at this, let's say now it's a zero degrees, it's something critical to be revealed to us, illuminated, um, clarity, okay? And that's what we're hoping for because like I said, Gemini assimilates information from everyone. They're like social butterflies. They're very chatty. They have a lot of airy energy and they take in information to share with others. So it even could be reconstructing your network, your social network, how you're communicating. Now, Mercury is retrograde and Mercury does rule Gemini till December 6th, it's retrograde. So it could be even you're reviewing things that you didn't take care of and closing things out that needed to be addressed with communication values, okay? So starting off in this position, it's what is revealed to you? How are you going to be illuminated and what's no longer hidden? It's amazing that we got the sun because the sun is fully illuminating a situation for you. Now on the full moon, the sun and the moon oppose each other. Okay. And the sun is going to be in Sagittarius by that time. And that's the polarity to Gemini. So we're looking at everything seems to be going your way. There's some completion to things that you had, um, like unfinished business and you had some things left undone open ends, loose ends. This is like you finally have the clarity, the epiphany to see what you couldn't see before. Like you might have looked at it over and over again and kept putting it down and walking away from it because you couldn't deal with it at the time. Well, this is everything becoming crystal clear to you, fully illuminated, like the sun shines on something and you can see it vividly. Um, and it depends on what it is in your life. What this illumination is, is it about a relationship? Things are revealed to you about a relationship, things that you didn't think were going on were, or what you thought was going on wasn't. Even with anything to do with schooling or a job, a vocation, a trade, your health. This is really feeling that everything is a clear thought for you. And it's also renewed energy for many of us too. Uh, maybe you found out what's been dragging you down in your life, or maybe it's the way you've been eating, how you've been living your life. Maybe you're not getting enough rest, or people have been putting a great deal of stress on you. This is like you see it now, and it's uh, like an epiphany. You're liberated from what it was before. You're becoming more self-aware. This is like a recharged batteries too for you. So as things are revealed to you and things culminate and come to an ending in the situation, you feel like you can see the light now. Now for some people, if there's a pregnancy, it could mean a boy, a male child, or it can even be twins in the situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is a good time for completion of things. This, and it's in the position of being illuminated on a full moon at a zero degree. So we think something that was very vital that needed to be done with in your life, finished, ended, harvested, put to rest, will be done. But it doesn't augur a negative outcome, okay? <clears throat> Just to let you know that. It's something that needed to be done and you didn't have the wherewithal to do it. Um where it just wasn't divine timing. For some of us, things just, you know, you say, oh, I did this, all the work, and I didn't get the results. This other person does, does some work, and they get what they want. Why didn't it work for me? It's always divine timing. So you could beat your brains over that and, and if you want to, but put it to rest and just know 
when it's time to be revealed to you, it, it will be. And it usually is that way. And then we're looking at here. What do we need to let go of? I'm, I'm liking this for this card because a lot of people look at this card negatively with the Two of Swords. It's a stalemate in a situation, like a blind choice. You don't know what to do. See, like your vision is occluded. Um, and there's a duality to this situation here. Well, the good thing is that you've got the illumination. This is going to help you make whatever this decision is that you needed to make or choice. So if it was a decision or a choice, and you saw with the swords, it's communication, it's words, but it's your thoughts, and it's the air and mental realm. And Gemini is an air sign. Mercury rules the mental realm. So I really feel this is tying into you. You're going to be able to make a clean break or clear cut decision in whatever this matter is. It no longer will be clouded for you, you know, uh, obscured. It will definitely be, um, it will be very obvious to you now what before was confused or convoluted. Now, remembering Venus was retrograde until the 17th of November. There was a lot of confusion going on for many people during that retrograde. It was a rough one. And even though you're in the Mercury retrograde right now, it's good to be done with that Venus retrograde. So there should be some clarity so that you could focus again on the things you didn't do, the emails you didn't answer, the phone calls you didn't return, the texts you didn't reply to, the papers you didn't sign, the bills you didn't pay. See, what happens in the Mercury retrograde is a time for you to go back and take care of all those things that have to do with commerce, like I said, social situations, your family, aunts, uncles, cousins, communication being done and taken care of. So in this position, we know that that's good for you because now you will be able to clearly see what's going on and make the right decision here. You know, you're armed with everything you need with these two swords. They're balanced. They're forged with balance and great clear delivery. And that's what you'll have too. So you could trust your instincts here and you don't need your eyes to see because intuitively you know what you need to do. And it's about you doing this. Um, for some of you, it'll be a choice between um, ending a relationship or going forward with a relationship. Some of you, it's a decision to leave a job, start a new job. You know, you're choosing between two jobs or two people or two courses of study or two modalities of wellness to treat you. See, if there's some duality that you have to make a choice on, this is saying you'll be able to do that now with clarity and seeing exactly what's best for you. And the outcome for this, you know, what transformative transformative energies will come out of this what will emerge now you have the knight of cups so there's some action there for some of you this is bringing you into a new um, phase of your life and an emotional journey um, with this clarity you're feeling like you know you raise your cup you're trusting everything that's going on in your intuitive senses you're making the right choices and you're going forward ready now to ride into this new situation or phase of your life knowing that not only mentally are you clear, your heart is clear on this. There's no more head on heart battle. You're ready to go. For some of you, this is a new relationship, an invitation to love. Um, and actually with the holidays, it could also be invitations to parties and going out, being with family. And if you are invited, please do so. Because if you weren't sure and you didn't want to do these things and you were holding yourself back, please put yourself out there to socialize. This is a very good time of the year for people to socialize and mingle, especially during the Mercury retrograde. There could be new opportunities presented to you, whether in business or in love or just in social activity that you might not act on until after December 6th. But this is that Gemini energy of assimilating information. You could get the right word in the right ear in the right time. And then you could process it and make a decision and go forward with it later. But for, you know what, like I said, this is action with the Knight of Cups. It's water. It's your emotions. So this is definitely something emotionally that you're ready to charge ahead with. Some of you, you're going to the next phase in a love relationship or the next step in your job that you've been attached to. Something that you're doing maybe in the medical field or helping other people, or something even like in the beautification process. You know, Venus went direct now. So if anyone was looking to beautify their home, now is the time to do it. Buy that new home, buy that new car. The big ticket items that you don't buy during the Venus retrograde, <clears throat> it's the green light to go ahead and do that. Even falling in love, 
is not recommended or, well, it can happen in the retrograde, but it usually doesn't pan out to last. So this is like the green light to go ahead emotionally for you to, to move forward in your life and trust that the actions you take will fill your cup with all the things that you're looking for in whatever this situation is in your life. Okay, so let's see what Oracle card we can pull for this full moon in Gemini. Remember, like I said, it's, it's a time to socialize. It's a time to get information. You know, there are things that we need to learn, we need to experience, and closing ourselves off is not recommended at this time when you have this opportunity during the Mercury retrograde and the green light with Venus. There are so many opportunities that could come to you financially uh, as far as love and materially because Venus does rule not just love, finances, your core values, how you feel about yourself, how you feel about others, how you let people treat you, and how you treat yourself. Let's see, what do we have? Something extra here. Let me see this one. Higher ground. Number 20. Okay, it's so hard to see the images through the camera. Okay, so we have this beautiful, looks like a blue rose. I love these blue roses. I, I have them myself. I grow them in my garden. And she's above the earth, floating above in the rose. And she looks like she's a little fairy here. 20, we know it's a two. Two is, oh, I think of the twins, the duality. And we have the two here, like with the twins for Gemini, the duality there. And when we add a zero to any number, it makes it exponentially greater. So it could be something to do in your partnership and coupling, or even in this communication time that you have with Gemini. So let's see what it says. In higher ground, move your thoughts, emotions, and outlook to a new perspective. Take an overview of what is going on. Just through shifting your perspectives, you will see the whole situation in a clearer light. A different course may become apparent. You will be able to focus on what is most important to you. Make a conscious effort to get above the situation. If there is nothing pressing in your life at the moment, consider something that might be unresolved from the past. This is speaking to everything we were just talking about. New perspective, clarity, higher ground, taking care of things from the past that you didn't address, that you need to bring to a conclusion now, right? At this moment in your life. So use the same idea of climbing above it with the intention of healing it. Once you achieve the higher ground perspective, you may find you're filled with peace. A beautiful outcome. I like that it ends with it's an outcome because with the full moon, we know these are endings. They are outcomes of things that have led up to this event from the last year. So remembering from the last full moon in Gemini to now, what you have accomplished, as I always tell you, don't shoulda, coulda, woulda on yourself. Be grateful for the growth and transition and transformation you've made. If you don't feel satisfied with it or you think you could have done better, well, here's your new full moon in Gemini to do that. And like I said, look at it from a new perspective. If there are things you have been walking away from or avoiding because you don't want to deal with it, you don't know how to deal with it, or you just, you really... Uh, unaware of it, this is going to be the clarity you need to see it and that you will face it. You know, I like that she's between earth and matter. She's floating somewhere in between. So she does have the wisdom of her inner divination, the new perspective above the earthly. She doesn't feel the weight of her body in the earth. She's feeling the energies of being weightless, right? Just floating. And the rose does emit an energy I've read that is one of the highest energies besides love. The frequency the rose emits is just a beautiful healing energy. So for many of us, this is a good time for us to heal things from the past um, with regards to maybe some family, friends, siblings, social networks, neighbors, anything to do that your wound sets about the money you make in the commerce or even healing your network. It's that web that you need to heal. And it will help you to raise your level to a higher ground. So I hope this has helped you. Have a great week, everybody. Enjoy the full moon. And as always, I wish you the best.